Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up email forwarding on the Outlook.com webmail or the Outlook.live as it's also known. There's a couple ways you could do this depending on what you want to do. So if you want to have all of your emails sent to another address, you could do it one way. But if you need to have just emails from a specific person forwarded to another address, that's another way you could set it up. So we'll go over both here. So either way, you need to go to the settings gear icon right there and then view all Outlook settings. Then you want to go to forwarding and then here you want to check the box that says enable forwarding and then this one here if you want to have a copy kept in your Outlook you want to check this otherwise it's just going to forward it and you're not going to see it in your uh, Outlook inbox there. So then just put an email address in there and then click on save and then close it out. So we're going to test it here with this other account here. So send a message. So Cindy is Cindy Sims is the one who has the forwarding enabled. So we'll send her a message. We'll call it forward. Send it off here. And then we'll make sure it shows up in her inbox. This might take a second. Okay, so now we got it in Cindy's email account right here. And then we'll check the, the one that we set up to have it forwarded to, which is right here. And this might take a minute too. Oh, so there it is. So Daniel Sims to Cindy Sims. And we got it in this Jim B account that we set up for forwarding. So that worked. So pretty simple to do. So once again, just go to settings. View all Outlook settings, forwarding, and then just enable the forwarding, put in who you want the email address to be forwarded to, and then whether or not you want it in your inbox as well. So that's one way. So another way is to set up a rule. So we have this rule set up here from a previous video on how to do rules, so you might want to check that out as well. So we're going to add a new rule. Uh, we'll call this Order from Daniel, so then condition. So if the email is from Daniel Sims, we want to forward to and that's it. So that'll, that'll do the same thing, except the only difference will be that this rule will only send emails from Daniel Sims to Jim B. So if you have this other one, so let's just save this real quick. So if you have this one forward disabled and you have this rule enabled, then these will be this this person's email will be the only one that's forwarded to this. So depending on if you want to have all your emails forwarded, you'll use the forwarding. If you just want to have a certain email or email addresses, because you could have more than one uh, from certain person or persons uh, forwarded, then you'd come in and make a rule for it. So that's that's the main difference. So that's what you got to do. So decide if it's just all your email getting forwarded or from certain people, and then that'll determine what you got to do. So hopefully that makes sense. So try it out and see what happens for yourself. But one thing I've noticed, um, if you're trying to forward to a Gmail address, they do something where they block it and it doesn't seem to work, or at least it doesn't work for me. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be forwarding to a, G a Gmail address, it might not work. All right. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.